Hey there everyone, Trentia here, and welcome back to Persona 4 Golden. So, as I had mentioned, uh, we have a few more things to do before I'm going to go do something else. And one of those things, unfortunately for me, is having to go to Okita and uh, try to get this Black Frost doll. So, we're just going to try that first, and then I'll go over everything else I have to do today after this. Okay, it's a good sign when there's no noise. Okay, ice cube. It's funny. It's cold outside. It's snowing. It was really cold today in, in the real world being uh, December 7th here in the Midwest. It was a cold one. But that's not what we're here for. And now I just have to sit here and wallow in my own misery as snowflakes continues to play in my ears. I, I think I've equated the fact that at the end of the last episode and I was just kind of going completely crazy, at least seemingly crazy. It was probably just me trying, like, it was affecting me, the fact that Snowflakes was playing. I was like, oh, I just gotta, I gotta break out of this, man. Uh, how many times, is this my fourth time or my fifth time? I can't recall. Regardless, we haven't had reloads for a minute, so this'll, this'll be fun. Well, I have to go reload the game, so I'll see you later. So, it seems like I'm kind of losing my mind uh, listening to this. I'm going to talk over this one so I can try to just deflect it a little bit. Now, I know I mentioned a lot that I would gush about the music, and I, I kind of have talked about the music a bit. A Super Sonic, huh? That's kind of neat. Uh, you know, because the re-releases don't necessarily add that much music in the grand scheme of things. But if if there was like even though I, I love Shadow World, I think Shadow World is is such a bop. The the intro to, to Golden. Uh I think that this song, as much as it pains me, as much as this song absolutely just digs at me, I feel like this is probably the best song in Golden soundtrack. And I it's just it's just told because like I don't, I don't know if this was Shoji Meguro or one of his understudies, uh, who actually composed this, but I think this song plays to a lot of Shihoko Harada's strengths. And it's it's just so beautiful, even though it makes me sad. Please give me this Black Frost doll so I can... Fuck it hell. <laughs> uh, seven minutes in, baby. Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> just about hit half an hour and I got that Black Frost doll. Now, to finish my thought that I had uh, when I cut in. So yes, Snowflakes was composed and performed written by Shoji Meguro, with lyrics written by Benjamin Franklin. No, not that Ben Franklin. So hey, it's this frantic middle-aged woman again. Still talking to the police, still asking for Ryan our bike. Uh, still saying police are useless. But now it's her Minori-chan that's missing. But she thought she'd be fine because Hikari-chan was with her. Oh, oh, maybe you should keep an eye on your frickin' pets. Have you thought about that one, lady? But sure, I guess I'll look for her, Minori-chan. She really likes fish. All right, good to know. Thanks. Now, let us finally go back to Iniba and I can finally just keep talking and drown out my- well, okay, I won't lie. I, it, I was just kind of numb to it uh, at this point. But man, let me tell you, in my first playthrough, this shit was just- I was just like, fuck, man, like, I don't want this to end. Uh, see, is it this cat? I can't remember. Uh, I think it's actually at the riverbank, if I'm being honest. I think I remember going to the riverbank for this one. But there was a bunch of cats over there. Oh yeah, there we go. Another familiar cat is staring at the fish in the river. Maybe you should try calling its name. So of course we have to just call by all names. Nothing. Nothing. Doesn't seem to notice, notice us at all. Did you wait? Yes, let us wait. Oh, Mew. It seems to have noticed you, but it's more interested in the fish in the river. What could you do to make it show more interest in you? Yeah, I think we should give it a fish. We're going to start with a red gold fish. Unfamiliar cat, carry the fish off somewhere. You don't think it'll be back today? Yeah, right, so I guess we'll just have to come back another day. So, I've had a bit of a change of, of heart. Uh, as to what my plans are. Mostly because I just got completely gypped and had to spend half an hour at the crane and I feel like actually recording? Uh, well, we're just gonna 
just, I don't know, do something. It's a free day. Uh, what I'm gonna do is, I can't, Tuesday, I can't recall if Chie is free this day, but I never have had the chance to show off what happens if you hang out with someone, uh, uh, like after their ranked max rank. Oh, yeah, there she is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I feel great. Uh, I will do that. Oh, you actually listened in class today, huh? Aw, oh, isn't that cute? Sure. You feel that like your tight bond with Chie is irreplaceable. You feel you can't get any closer than you are now, but... Will you spend the rest of the day together? Sure, let's do it. And Chie is all like, yeah, sure. Blushing and all that. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Come over. Let's go! Our room, comrade. Well, hey, that, that's good. Alright, well, hey, that's fine. <laughs> oh, trust me, I get it. What's going on? Uh, just <laughs> and of course, there's our GA. She's just happy to be around. I love you. And so that's just pretty much all it is. Just you pass along my old Chie. I've, I've really only like hung out with I think two people like Yosuke and Chie after max rank. So yeah, you know, just you just kind of hang out and then whatever. There's just nothing really to it. But it's a free day, you know. It's a free day, man. Welcome home. Oh, uh, hi, Teddy. Oh, what's that? Uh, no. Well, sorry, man. <laughs> we ain't raised Teddy's in a Teddy's and Veggie's in a minute. Oh, uh, what's, what's, what's he saying? Oh, yeah. Uh, what is it, Teddy? Dig. Yeah, you better go change. I'll dress warm. I don't want to go. I just got better from being sick. <laughs> what are we digging for? Something's coming out. Ooh, a hibernating bug in the ground. An Inaba jewel beetle. And a stag beetle, and a Genji beetle, and a Genji beetle, and a stag beetle, and a Genji beetle. Yes, uh, something like that. <laughs> yeah, shy's the word, Teddy. Uh, probably. Well, let's go inside then, idiot. Yeah, precisely. So, uh, yes, that was fun. Yeah. Uh, sure, sure. Yeah, so with the snow piled up, you can no longer raise vegetables. You can, however, look for hibernate insects. So if you still need bugs, this is where you get it. But we're not here for that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and save, just in case, because I am not doing that crane again, for the love of God. Oh, yeah, we should actually look at that. I There might be something there now. I can't remember if it actually comes back or not. See, what was he saying? Ooh. Auto Martyr Kaja with wasabi jelly and three tetracorn and Makara corn. Well, I'm gonna buy that fucking skill card, man. Actually, that would. I mean, I kind of just have Norn, but I could uh, get rid of one of the spells on. Uh, Yoshitsune and just put that on so I just have attack up every time. So yeah, we're gonna get to reading the rest of our books. Uh, we're reading The Ramen Way today. Uh, this book explains different ways to prepare noodles for, from a variety of different regions. It sounds delicious. Maybe you should talk to someone about it. Ooh, you read your books, it quietly snows outside. Your knowledge has greatly increased. We can't even look up to look and see the snow because our windows are closed. Uh, but finally, the 11th. The lunchtime hour. What is this doing here? We don't have any social links to max out. Um. Uh, I mean, I could, but not for you, sadly. Oh, something you like my opinion on. Oh, okay. It seems Yukiko wants to talk about something. Maybe you should hang out with Yukiko after school. So yeah, this is something... Ooh, and then there's Kanji. Senpai. Uh, um, sorry, I got. Oh, something you want to talk to me about, and I'm the one you can rely on. 
Oh, well, Kanye wants to talk about something, too. Okay, I'll wait to see if anyone else walks up before I continue my spiel. Oh, and there's Teddy. You don't go here. Ah, uh, yeah, true. <laughs> no. That's something I want to talk about. Man-to-man -man talk. Hmm. Alright, I'll, I'll swing by Juness later. Because Teddy wants to talk about something, too. Anybody else? Oh, uh, Naoto. Good day. Hey, what's up, Naoto? Uh, oh. Uh, that's fine. Well, I, I can't with... Not today. Uh, sorry. Alright, so, Chie Yosuke, you guys want to show up too? Rise? No, so that's the first batch. So, yes. It's, you know, interesting. Because they're maxed out. Uh, so we'll get into that right now. Well, actually, not right now. I have to go to the riverbank and talk to the cat again as I walk out the door. So yeah, this is something that is added in Golden because we have an extra month. So we get a, a bit of an extra scene. Uh, for all intents and purposes, just imagine it as like a rank 11 that doesn't actually exist. The cat's meowing. Uh, let's see. We're going to give it a fish. Megro Tuna. Meow. <laughs> so the cat's buzzed off. Satisfied. We'll have to come back another day. So now, let us go to Juness. And we're going to hang out with Teddy. This is rare. We haven't hung out with Teddy ever. Because it was an automatic rank up thing. Sensei! I did. Oh, well, we can't say it here? Uh, I mean, yeah, fair. It's just the lobby of a grocery store. The ocean. Are you gonna roll the blade on the there's gonna be snowy roads. <laughs> yes, let's strike while the iron is hot to trot. So we're gonna go to the ocean with Teddy. So we came to the beach. What are we doing here? It's cold. Woohoo! It's so huge! So wide! So salty! <laughs> Wait! The salt was actually me sweating. It's tough to skate against the wind. Especially in the cold. Wow! The winter sea is really cool, too. Coming here with everyone was fun, but it's exciting to be here alone with you, too. This must be the true charm of the winter sea. Teddy is in high spirits. Sensei, over here! Let's do that thing people are supposed to do on the beach and run around in the surf! Come on! Try and catch me! <laughs> well, I guess we have no choice in the matter, huh? You played with Teddy for a while. Sensei, why is the sea so huge? And because the world is huge. The world. I know what that is. It's where everything is. And everything in it is connected. Teddy gazes out over the horizon. The sea's sparkly. I didn't know anything about anything until I met you and everyone else. Fun things. Feelings that make me want to cry. How the sea is so beautiful. I didn't know anything, and I never thought about wanting to learn either. I can feel all kinds of things in me now. All these feelings created after I met all of you. I think that's my life. It's these different feelings that keep me going. There are still tons of things I don't understand. And I don't know what I'm going to do from here, either. But I've decided that I'm going to do the best with this life that I can. Even though I was scared, I took a step forward and discovered such a wonderful, shiny world. That's why you too, Sensei. S -sen sensei! <laughs> Teddy is shedding large tears. Because you're going away soon, I want you to know, Sensei. But 
I felt like if I told you, then you'd leave for good. <laughs> it's still a long way off. How, how long is that in Topsicles? If I stop eating them, will it never come? <laughs> but I'll be okay. It's sad, but being sad is part of life, too. I've made my decision to stop relying on you so much, Sensei. I will now enter the independent Teddy chapter of my life, so that this time... I can be your sensei. Teddy smiles cheerfully. Teddy's heart, having developed over this difficult year, attains greater power. Teddy's persona has been reborn again. I fucking love this persona. Uh, Kamui has transferred into Kamui Moshiri. So yes, when this event happens, uh, their persona is going to transfigure into a third form, and they're going to learn a unique skill. Uh, this one being Kamui Miracle. Uh, and it says anything can happen. This is the one time I'm going to tell you just don't. Just don't. This, this spell isn't worth it. <laughs> came out I'm an all new model now Teddy version 3 or is it 4 good question actually maybe I should study counting first oh but even though I've entered my independent phase I'm still gonna have Yosuke take care of me <laughs> I'm not that independent yet you sense an unchanging strong bond with Teddy you and Teddy sit and talk about all kinds of things until the sun begins to set. <sighs> and now, we're into the evening. Oh, Sensei's home. <laughs> we came home together. Uh, yes, sir. Oh. Oh, was it just like snacks and crap? Oh, well, well thanks. So there's our auto Kaja. Oh, wait, you know, we can't really do anything with skill cards anymore now that Marie's gone from the velvet room, huh? We're not going to work at the hospital, are you kidding me? So then, we're just going to read the Ramen Way once again. So, let me just try to find where this is, Ramen Way, and we read it. You know, I always really hate doing episodes where, like, I have a crane and some other stuff, because, like, editing it is always such a pain. Like, I'm always, like, trying to, like, remember how much I spent actually recording versus how much was the crane and all that. Anyways, it's the lunchtime hour on the 12th. What's up? Yeah, what's up, Yosuke? Uh, sorry, I can't today. Oh, well, hey, I'll think about it. Yeah, so now Yosuke wants to talk about something. So what, G.A. Rise? You guys want to show up? Yo! Uh, unfortunately not. Uh, I'll, I'll think about it, though, if it makes you feel better. No, okay, okay I'll, I'll let you know later. There you go, she understands. Alright, so Rise, you want to show up, or are you going to be on a class of your own? Class of her own, that one. So, class is ended for today. What will we do today? Well, I'm glad this game has asked. We must now go back to the, the riverbank. So, we go... Hello, Mr. Cat. Mrs. Cat. So, let's see. What do we have? A sea guardian? <laughs> Unfamiliar cat seems pretty happy. So, it ate it without minor presence at all. Meow. Unfamiliar cat went away, turned around many times to see you. Seems to be getting pretty interested in you. You don't think we'll be back today? Huh, interesting. Uh, the schedule has it kind of has me like finishing this today. I didn't fuck up or anything, did I? No, no, I didn't. Okay, that's interesting. Whatever. It is what it is. I just gotta remember to come back here. I'm hoping that's not gonna mess anything up. Uh, anyways, today we are going on a bike ride with Miss Naoto. 
Hello. Yeah, Scooter is great. So let's see, where, where are we going? Hot spring. It's uh, all right. Yeah, so we, we've already been through this, so we can just go ahead and skip all this here. Uh, talk about the future. So what, I think this is just going to be like the other other spell. Yeah, Zyodyne. So we don't need Zyodyne. It's actually, I mean, it'd be kind of useful. I mean, what, what is her? I can't even see her, what her strength is. It's like Vorpal Blade. I mean, it was useful. To, I don't know. I'm just going to leave her as is. Because that Vorpal Blade spot is going to probably get changed anyways for other reasons. So, to the evening we go. See, so yeah, a lot of this is just going to be us, um... Whatchamacallit. It's just going to be us pretty much finishing off our book collection. Oh, but that's right. I need to uh, replace something here. So there is this Neko Shogun. Uh, was a, a great stepping stone, but now that I have the Black Frost all, yeah, you love to see it, huh? So we are now going to start reading the book Food Fight. Did, did I already make the joke? I feel like I did make the joke. It was like, oh, is this a novelization of the like hit film Food Fight? It says that the essence of Chinese dining is to eat everything that is served. You do feel that if you put this advice into practice, it will toughen your body and mind. I guess we'll have to read the rest of that tomorrow. Ooh, baby, the lunchtime hour. Who is it today? Ah, there's Risei. Oh, senpai. What's up? Uh, I mean, okay. That sounds good. So, this is a free day. Uh, I might just... It, it's gonna be kind of weird. I'll throw off the schedule in some way if I talk to one of my mates but I don't know maybe it's just for the best I, I, I there's really there's like nothing I can really do I guess I could I don't know go to the cafe or something and try to get a skill card oh I just had a terrible idea and I'm not going to do it um so I'm, I'm almost done just to go hang out with Risei to be honest can I just go downstairs please I'm sitting there trying to like prepare to mute myself to clear my throat and it's just throwing me off. So I guess basically what this comes down to then is that whenever I have to do Risei's quote rank 11, uh, it's just going to be something else. But that's a free day. Hey, what's up? Oh, you did, huh? Uh, uh, okay. Seems Risei wants to talk to you about something. So let's spend the afternoon with Risei. Thank you, Senpai. Was it okay to come out today? Did you have anything you needed to do? It was a free day. Risei has a meek expression on her face. You remember when I told you before that I had a number one fan? Yeah, I remember that. A girl who was being bullied and would send me letters? She sent me another letter. She says she's going to stop being my fan. She's made friends with someone, but her new friend is a fan of someone else. It seems she was told something like, I'll quit being your friend if you stay a Rosette fan. She did say that she'll be cheering for me in her heart, but she won't be sending me any more letters. Well, you have another fan right here. You mean you, Senpai? <laughs> you really are kind. You see tears in Risei's eyes. Relationships between people are difficult, aren't they, Senpai? There's something like a mutual respect between her and me. I don't even know what she looks like, but I know she has a pure heart. I also know that she's persistent. But when another person enters the picture, things suddenly get complicated. Throw in four or five people and it's pure chaos. There's no malice involved, and it's no one's fault. Yet, we end up hurting each other, becoming lost. It... it makes me so tired sometimes. Risei gazes into the distance. But that's why I want to keep trying my best. I mean, I am an idol after all.
don't tire yourself out. Make sure you stop me when it looks like I'm trying too hard, okay? I think I'll be able to listen to any advice you have to tell me, senpai. I picked the right answer, let's go. <laughs> An idol isn't some doll in a window being held up for public display. I think it means somebody who can endure things and stand their ground, no matter which way they're pushed. Even if that girl doesn't write me letters, I bet she'll still watch me if I'm on TV. I can be her strength, as well as many other people's strengths. Even though many things may not go my way and I may be troubled, swept off my feet and get lost, I won't lose. I have to protect the smiles of the people who are precious to me. That's the resolve I found after meeting all of you. You say smiles cheerfully. Yeah, all these rank 11 scenes are really good. Risei's heart, having developed over this difficult year, attains greater power. I, I also love this persona, too. Uh, Kanzion is transferring into Kuzion. So, a complete analysis. Uh, which means, along with the skills the enemy has, you can now find out about the affinities who haven't attacked in the past as well. So, yeah, we'll just know everything right from the get go. Very good. a power inside of me that I didn't have before. I've learned so many important things from the people I hold dear to me. Senpai, I feel like my heart is about to burst. I'm so excited about the future now. Hardship and sadness and everything, it can all be changed into the power to take a step forward. I'm still just getting started. You and everyone else, you're all going to keep changing, too, in your own ways. And when I smile on TV, I'm smiling for you. So you smile, too, Senpai. You have me and everyone else, Senpai. When spring comes around and we have to say goodbye, it'll be sad, sure. But we'll be okay. You sense that the strong bond between you and Risa cannot be changed. You and Risei spend a long time talking about all sorts of things until it becomes dark out. Oh, Sensei's home! So, I mean, you know... Oh my god, I don't want Teddy's dinner. Oh, uh, I'm not cooking anything, sorry, man. So, you know, say what you will about Risei, but, I mean, oh, that, that, like, rank 11 scene, it's just, I don't know, I love that so much. Just the whole, like, you know, when, you know, when I smile on TV, I'm smiling for you. I was like, you know, that's just, that's fucking, it, you know, warms me heart. My cold heart. So, uh, we're gonna finish the food fight right now. And, uh, I guess I should mention that there really is no right or wrong answer, per se, during, uh, these scenes. But it's just kind of more or less, like, it, it's, I don't want to say a test. You can view it as a test in some way, but it's kind of like a, how well do you know this person? Like, what, are, what is the thing that you probably should say to, say to them? Well, the first lecture of the day, I don't want this. Uh, I was... I was sick. <laughs> Whoa, aren't you stupid? Oh, well, I mean, why are you talking to a bunch of high schoolers about it, dude? Oh, me. Why would I know about it? Uh, Toso is a traditional drink for the new year, but what does that name mean? It means to bury... bury... bury the demons. <laughs> yes, I'm smart. Toso is symbolic of burying demons. Oh, okay. Well, funny two characters. <laughs> well, I mean, we're gonna make fun of you. You got hung over. So our knowledge has increased. And it's after school time. So, we have another bike ride to go on today. Which is the only reason why I didn't stop this, because, I mean, we're just... Easy day right here. Easy time. It's Yukiko. Yeah, what up? Oh. Let's see. So where are we going? A hot spring. Mm -hmm. So we've already seen this a few times. So we're just going to leave. So talk about the future. Can you get red wall? Uh, I don't think we need this. <laughs> so see you later. <laughs> 
The only thing we really need is her fire break. That's why I had to get rid of it. Oh, Sensei's home. Uh, I'm back. See you later, Teddy. Yeah, now we're like I said, we're just cramming out books. Where that's all we're doing here, pretty much for the rest of the game at night, at least for the next while. So we're going to read the Divine Way. I guess I could have just like not skipped that, but it's it's fine. Ah, uh, but here we are. It's a day off of school. Cause it's Sunday. Well, I guess we're gonna check the shopping channel real quick. Uh, who's calling? Yeah, it's me. Oh, what's up, Dojima? Nanako can leave the hospital on the 20th. The doctor said she'll be well enough to recover at home by then. That caused you a lot of worries. It's okay, no, so rest easy. All right, so Nanako is leaving the hospital on January 20th. We decided to wait for her arrival at the house. Like we had much of a choice. Yes, shopping program. You want to give me like another banger skill card? Uh, shopping program. Okay, survey says. Book of the Void, I don't know what that does. The giant candy. Or bead chain. Oh fuck, I didn't see what the other thing was. I held triangle. I mean, Book of the Void is definitely uh, more expensive, but bead chain, I think, restores everyone's health. I mean, am I really gonna need that, though? Yeah, we'll just get the Book of the Void and then not use it, and then be like, wow, that bead chain didn't sound like a bad deal, man, now did it. So, there's that. But that's gonna be it for, for me today. Because, I mean, I, I think I'm around the usual stopping point for myself. I could be wrong, though. So, Nanko comes home in five days. So we're gonna make the most of those days before they get home, right? So until then, I'm Trentia and you guys have a good day.